He's ready to go to Paul Dvorsky. With him, Stephen Walkham. We're underway quickly. Niedermeyer, Regeer, Thornton, Doan, and Draper. The checking line up front for Canada to check Koivu, Solani, and Lettinen. Newman and Timonen are the two defensemen for Finland. They are, of course, in the white jerseys. Team Canada, the home team, red. I think this is the first time in a major international tournament between these two teams where the Finns think they can win instead of hoping they can win. And there's a huge difference in that mentality. We'll see tonight whether the hope or the think ends up being the difference. Oli Jokinen comes on. He's number 12 for Finland. Peltonen and uh, Tuomo Rutu on the, the wings. The defense have changed up also. Salo is with Vanenen. Team Canada in their zone with this face off. Joe Sakic. Again, La Lemieux. Winning it cleanly. This is Adam Foote. A stalwart defenseman for Team Canada. He's been great, solid every game. Back into the zone, Vannon and slapped it off the boards behind the net for Sammy Salo. He got it high on the boards and it did not get out. It's kept in, but a blind pass didn't work. From Lemieux and it shot down the ice. Foot missed that. They wave off any icing. Finland on the attack, but here comes Saki. Galloping away to the line. Getting to center with a pass. They get away with it. Mario sets it up. Score! in the National Hockey League, and we just witnessed it. All right, Harry, what a dandy pass that was for Mario. He took one look right on the tape, and the time of the goal was 52 seconds. Canada attacking again right in front of the net. That was broken up. It'll be cleared out. Tamu Salani gets it to center ice and dumps it in wide of the net. Here comes Broder way out. They move it up off the glass down the ice. Teppo Newmanen. Long pass. That's onside barely. Shot back into the finish zone, and again they wave off any icing. Finland trying to get back now, quickly if they can. Great start for Canada in this championship game. Joe Saki getting the goal. In behind the net. Canada. Don't get it out. Long shot. Two saves! Well, Martin Brodeur very quickly shows you that he looks like he's in the mid-tournament form as he makes two big stops after Canada had trouble on the defensive zone coverage. The giveaway right there, and there is the best stop of the night. That looked like it was in. Is there a better goalie in the world that has the ability to scramble in those situations? He made the first save, and that is correct. And the big rebound looked like a pure setup for a goal. Then he made that dramatic save. Roder has been fantastic. Well, it's good to see uh, him play that way. You know that he's not 100%, but he sure looked like it on that one. Let's have one more look at this first Canada goal because there was a miscue just inside the blue line. And here comes Canada, a nice pass, a give and go. And Mario Lemieux here is just going to dance by his check. And that's where all the opening ends up. And then the Finns in the back check are not picking up their assignments. Sakic has given Canada a 1-0 lead at 52 seconds from Lemieux and Brewer. Another save by Broder. Lemieux got the puck out of the zone, then was hit. Jokin then went down, though. And play goes offside at the Canadian blue line. Well I think the team Canada got a little scare 
against the Czech Republic in the semifinals. And I've always thought a, a scare is worth a ton of advice from the coach. And I don't think Pat Quinn had to talk to him very long about the fact they have to play better tonight if they want to win. For Sackick, his fourth goal of this tournament. Canada starting up again, led by Regeer. Shot into the zone by Thornton. Another chance there, flying off the wing with a shot. Three fins come back in over the line. The setup goes to Solani off the skate. Missed him, just missed him. And he was coming hard off the boards. Finland spreading out, the five of them. They get the puck in. Shane Doan threw a hit and stays on there to take that pass. It hopped away from him, though, and got down the ice. Timo Timonen back there for Finland. He's with Teppo Newmanen, and they get together to bring it out. Two passes back and forth. The two defensemen get it up across the line. The shot is deflected up over the glass into the netting. Well, many are wondering how Martin Berdur is going to handle a puck. I talked to him this morning. He had the same injury in junior. And what he's going to do is not grab the puck with his glove, or the stick with his glove, but just use the glove as leverage, and his top hand will do all the work, as you can see there. And that's how Martin Berdur is going to handle a puck tonight. He's really good at it, even one-handed. He's the best in that department, too. Everybody talks about the way he can handle a puck. It's not new, and he's having a tough time. He knows he has to play with maybe a little pain, he said, but that's okay. He's done it before. And Kelly Rudy mentioned about getting up from a, when you're down, when you use your hand, your, your glove hand. Well, I mentioned that to Marty as well this morning. He says he always uses his fist and just pushes himself up back into position with his fist, so he doesn't think that's going to be a problem, Harry. Here's how good Brodeur is with the puck. He got some Norris Trophy gloves. <laughs> The Richards line on for Canada. And he's on the puck along the boards near the corner. Left it there. Richards gets it back again. He's covered this time. Finland in a little trouble maybe with a score checking 3-0 for Canada. At the line, the long shot by Eric Brewer didn't miss by much. And Foot is back. He has to come back now. Play it back for Brewer. He gets away from one four checker. That was Hagman in there, a good skater. And Canada in on the and that'll come off with that rush from the far side, and Kiprasov just did get out of the way. There has been just the one shot on goal so far by Canada. That by Sackick, his fourth goal. Canada leads one to nothing. We played four minutes of the opening period. Puck is slapped in by Billy Peltonen. Nearly mishandled by Goldmeister in front of his goalie. No harm done. Centered again, knocked down and cleared out off the stick of a Newman in the center. And he had to come back. Lomo Rutu had to wait too long and then lost it. Kiprasov comes out of the net to stop the puck back there. Tried to go high. Did go high, but it doesn't get out. Cannon on the attack for checking again. This shot by Sackick is blocked. Into the corner and Sackick after it. Sackick getting loose. Pulling away from his defenseman, Timonen, who was all over him. Again, Lemieux setting it up. Mario comes back out from the corner, back in the line, another dandy pass. Slapped in wide of the net. There again, a sack. He shoveled it over. Oh, big stop there. Not high and down the ice in the play. Stop at this line for Canada. Looking awfully sharp. Joe Sackick, Mario Lemieux, and Jerome McGinley. Canada's size up front may really help them in this game tonight, recovering pucks. They win the faceoff, but unfortunately for Canada, it got by the two defensemen, and McGuire comes back. Draper flipped it high. Thornton won't get that. Backing up is Aussie Bannon played it to the line. It's tipped out to center ice. Canada taking charge early and looking sharp in this championship game. And the goal scored at 52 seconds by Sackett. And they're on the puck again in the zone. There goes Stone. Around the net, Draper. The two of them back and forth with the passes. Again, Doan backhands it around the net. Joe Thornton twisting and turning back there, and he's strong. He's coming out. He shakes off a check. Thornton doing big work with the stick. Pulls away from the check again, and it's played on the boards and stopped at the line by Regeer. However, knocked down by Thornton. Coming in. A pass. Back in front. Shot stopped by Kiprasov. 
inside the line, and there goes Regeer. He takes a hit but keeps going. Slap tied to the boards. All Canada here in the early going. We're nearing seven minutes. Canada on the puck. Another long shot. Big rebound. And cleared away by Lettinen down the long side. And he goes after it. He lost it inside the Canadian blue line. Team Canada for real tonight. They had a slow start against the Czech Republic. Not tonight. Here's a chance. Back pass in front of the net didn't work. In around the goal, Elorantin trying to play it back out and does to the line. Long shot by Lidditch scores. Tipped in front. And Finland ties her up. Pretty hard to see who tipped it. It might have been Rico Hall who got a stick on it. He was in front. It was a good low shot by Lidman that probably wouldn't have gone in had it not been tipped. But there was a pile of guys between the shooter and the net. And a collision back at the point. Open the point shot up. Keep an eye on Eloranta as well. 22 to the right of your screen. There. I believe tipped it right in front of Martin. Bernier will take another look, Harry. But I've oh, been tipped twice. I think you're right. I think you're right on the first tip. Root. It might have been Hall early. There. 6.34 is the time of the tying goal. San Luis plays the puck out of the Canadian zone down to center. Richards bumped off the puck. It's in deep though in the finish zone. And around the net, Canada in to pick it up. Slapped away by Newman. And that didn't get too far, but then it's lifted down the ice. 1-1 one, one tied out. Delaranta gets credit for that goal by Finland. And Lidman took the shot from the blue line. Aki Berg also got in on the play. They're sacking, trying to get it back with Mario. Mario centering pass! And the shot not hard by Aginla. He didn't get all of it. Set up perfectly, though. And it was caught by Mika Kiprasov. Pesov is deep in the Finland zone to the right of Mika Kiprasov. 1-1 one, one is the score. Sacking and Eloranta. Puck is tapped up along the boards and cleared out by Finland quickly. Down they come. Yuri Lehtinen got it in over the line. Solani tried to take his man off the puck. Lost a chance to move it out front. However, in the corner, Lehtinen kept going. He stopped by Niederbauer. Shot around the boards, this near side. Salo comes in and takes a solid hit for doing that. Cleared at the net and tipped away by Niedermeyer. He lost it. And it's recovered by Regeer, his defense partner. Finland attacking well now, four checking well. Three Canadians tear off though, down across the line. Draper was hauled down, couldn't get back up to get a chance at the puck. And Canada has to come back. Played ahead to Saki. Good move by Saki. Beautiful stick handling. Again, left fires one. Again, it's deflected high. Over the glass. Saku Koibu has been announced the first winner of the Jean Bellabo trophy that will give, be given annually to a player who does the most for his community. And we all know that Mr. Koibu is a great citizen of Montreal as well as a great hockey player. And to win a trophy named after Jean Bellabo. Can't get much better than that. Newman moves the puck in a hurry for Finland. They get it in deep. Roger out to watch it, not to the side. Two fins in forechecking now, but Saki will pull away. Alaranta doesn't stop him as he dropped it back. Moving up, Brewer took a chance with that second move. However, Canada shoots it in. Out is Kiprasov. Played along the boards, and three fins are up there to go. Down across the line, a shot in a little bit too far that time for Rutu. He went in, though, to pick it up. Did get it centered, but nobody out there in front. Cavalier missed a chance. He'll get another. Nope, he missed that pass. And it shot down the ice. That'll be brought back. Well, the Finns now, their confidence level suddenly has gone up a whole notch. It looked like this game was early over in the first five minutes. But a collision here by Canada at the blue line. And then Finland is able to recover the puck down low. Get it back to the point. D to D. And Smith is still recovering at the point. And there's the double tip, we think, on that play. And Elorantz is going to get credit for the goal. And then Hall should get the assist in place of Berg. On the faceoff, Finland shooting it in. Canada now backing up a little bit as we approach the halfway mark of the first period. 
Dots are even, five apiece. 1-1 one, one, the score. Again, shot into the zone by Ryan Smith. Finland back to pick it up and clear it out. Bullmeister turns all the way back and gives it to Le Cavalier. Takes his time through the pass up there. That works and along the boards. San Luis couldn't stop that clearing attempt. And it's fired back up there. Le Cavalier tipped it in front of him. We'll try to get that pass in front. Didn't quite work. Here comes Hinton and he takes a hit. And the play is icing. Well, he, he looks like he's in a little discomfort on the bench. This is what we think happened as Aki Burke stood up, and there's the other body check there as Rutu, Tomo Rutu, ran into him. And uh, it'll be interesting to see, although he hasn't left the bench, that's good news. They saw it comes right to Sammy Sallow by Hintonen. And get out. Swept back in deep by Brad Richards. Canada has to back up. Get out of the zone. Regeer is knifed it ahead. It's shot in then. Kipper saw it again out to play. Ripped on the boards and tipped out by Nicholas Heitman. Canada, San Luis brought it in, shot it in deep, and heads off to the bench. 9.34 left in the first. It is a 1 1 tie. This championship game. Hockey lifted away by Letton in this time. Canada waits. Both teams are changing quickly. Eric Brewer made that pass. And it's in deep again thanks to Joe Thornton. But he was hit. He couldn't chase it. And that's another rising call. Saku Koivu and Yuri Lettinen on the other wing. Eric Brewer for Canada left it on the boards. Thornton's pass doesn't work. There's Solani trying to get some room. He might find it. He fell just as he tried to get inside. On the last man back to stop him. 8.55 left in the first. 1-1 one, one the score. Finland coming on. Gave up the first goal to Joe Sackick in 52 seconds. And Canada was taking full charge. Then Elorantis tip in. And great confidence now by Finland. And they talk about the confidence since coming into this championship game. They feel good about themselves. Timo Timonen leads Finland in scoring and leads the defenseman in this tournament in scoring. And their defense core with the two assists on the first goal, although they may change one of them, now have 15 total points from the Blue Liners. That is far and away the best production of any defense core in this tournament. This team from Finland is a very quick team. Starting up, led by Sackett once again. Lemieux got a stick on that, made sure it got in there. But Aki Berg was back. Berg left it right there, and it's tossed high down the ice. Batted down at the blue line by Big J. Bovister. Only a total of 11 shots so far in the game. They 10 left in the first. Six of them by Canada. Out of the hockey game. Saki and his fourth. There's a chance in close. This one flipped high by Jokinen off the stick. Niedemeyer missed it. On it is Rutu. Behind the goal, he poked it a bit too far to make a play. And Canada just has to shoot it away and down the ice. This is reversed now. Canada is back on its heels a bit. Well, ever since the uh, Finns scored, they certainly look like a different team. One of their better performers. Jokinen, he got 26 goals last year for Florida, and that's the second most goals scored by a center in the NHL. And you can see what he's done in this World Cup. So he has really improved recently and is one of the key members of this team. Kapanen comes on with Hentonen and Hagman. It's another quick line for Finland. Back down the ice for Canada. He the zone okay along the boards. And the pile up on the board. Sackick did get it loose. Knocked it back to the line. Flip high by Hannon. But Finland will take over. First pass comes to Hintonen. 
He got it up to center high, and Bolmeister didn't know where it was. It's given up there. The quick shot by Kapanen was deflected just wide. And Canada again having some difficulty with the forechecking fins. Moving up, Bolmeister. Looks like he wants to go. He got as far as center and dumped it in wide of the net. Moivu is back on the ice and got the pass back for Newmanen. Tried to go to center. Lettman was bumped, didn't get to the puck. And here's Brewer coming back again. Flipped it ahead. That's broken up. Lettman centered it. Goes in front of the net with the pass. It's kept in at the blue line. And shot in deep by Sammy Salo. Finland looking strong now and coming on. That is Koivu who fell to his two knees. And Canada gets the puck out. But that's all. It'll be Finland back to pick it up. It's golfed back down the ice. Adam Foot turning. Got a quick pass away. Now Finland is changing. There was some time for Thornton. He didn't realize that. Shot it in and took off to the bench himself. So both teams changing, and here's Finland moving up in a tie game. 1 1. That'll be offside. It just came out a little bit. Well, you saw lots of Finland on your overseas uh, journey. Do they look better now than they did early in the tournament? Exactly the same, Harry. From day one, they're playing this very conservative trapping style slash Calgary Flame hockey. And that's what's made them successful so far. And they've slowed this game down to the pace they want once again here in this first period after they scored. They're pretty good at the forecheck when they decide to do it, but they make good decisions. If there's no hope, they get back into the trap. Canada has such a strong start. They came out flying and were rewarded quickly. Nearly got another on several chances. Finland tied the game, and now they are the stronger of the two, it seems. Once again, Gagne comes in deep, takes a bit of a hit along the boards by Tony Lippman, shakes that off, the puck is loose behind the net, and the Finns grab it. It's lifted high down the ice, nearly a chance for Miko Elaranta. He just missed it. And the faceoff comes inside the Finnish blue line. Canada wins it, Bolmeister. He goes in wide of the net. Nearly set up a rebound for Mario Lemieux, who gets the puck to Ginla. Back in there, Sakic and Lemieux out front again. Right in front, the Ginla had another chance. Went down on one knee, and Kiprasov grabbed the puck. It wasn't hard to him, but he smothered it. And it wasn't as tough a stop as by Kiprasov as it might have been. As you're going to see, there's the pass. The Ginla's going to shoot it and go to the net. But a real good play by Ole Jokin, and he wouldn't leave the Ginla and tied him up without getting the penalty. Lined up the stick very effectively. 20-year-old Bolmeister coming back to pick it up. And here we go again, Mario and the Joe Sackick. Mario to Sackick. Getting set. Sackick looking back. Hangs onto it. Nobody opens, so he made a wise move by shooting it in deep around the net. Again, was tied up in front of the goal. And Finland, now there's that defensive play again. Just getting it out to center. Taking advantage. Hinton and he got across the line. See the style of this game now. Nobody walking away with this big puck in front of the Canadian goal. And that's Eric Brewer taking his time. Played down the ice. Keatley back on. Got tied up trying to go for it. And Canada will have to come back to regroup again. Now it's moved up. Long shot into the glove of Kiprasov by Ryan Smith. That was not a problem. All given credit for the Finland goal. Now Canada attacking again. Heatley! That came close. He got it again and fired the pass out in a fashion that got by everybody to center ice and down inside the Canadian line. Good try by Danny Heatley. They saw off to the right of Martin Roger. He came out of the net to sweep it away out of harm's way. And Canada starts up. Joe Thornton's pass was not great. It was in behind. Doan, and he did a good job picking it off on the boards for Draper in there. Thornton comes in to help, and he's the big strong guy after the puck. Draper knocked it over to him around the net. There he is again. It's centered it. It got to the line. No shot. The first one didn't come off, and the second was blocked. Back by Niedemar. Dumped back in by Canada. And back is Lidman. Now Canada catching fire with the Thornton line, but they're changed and gone off. And there's the first penalty coming up now against Finland.
first one of the game called here and I think maybe interference. Well the Canadian power play four for 18 and I think Tamo Solani may be the perpetrator in this crime. Without question the hook waltzing in the penalty box the hook in him pretty good too. Puck recovery has been huge for Joe Thornton in this first period and you sense that perhaps he may do something special for his team because he is owning the smaller finish defense here in period number one. You're right Greg he's so strong. And he works so hard hooking they're going to call it Solani the first penalty 1638 is the time Canada four for 18 on the power play in the tournament and the Finns have allowed four 20 times shorthand. <laughs> So a little over three minutes left to play. Look out, has a bouncer in front of Broder. Had to go down to be careful. Almost had to go down on all fours. Cavalier on there with Adam Foot, and they're coming out. Cavalier waits. Pass gets up near the line. That might be offside. Ten deep. They're going to call it back. Icing. Well, it's amazing with the offensive talent that all the teams have that the power plays are very average. I know the penalty killers do a good job. But goaltending, Harry, you always say the best penalty killer is your goaltender. I've heard you say it a million times. We've got some pretty good ones here tonight. Yeah, and that's a, probably the main reason why. Nine, six of the shots at this moment for Canada, which is the home team, in red and coming out. Left wing pass to start him off. Sackett gets the zone, drops it back. San Luis knocked it down with his glove. Backhands it ahead near the net. That stopped at the line. Nice play by Niedermeyer to keep it in. Mario goes to him again. He tried a second pass. That didn't work. And it's shut out. And down the ice by Hall. Canada moving up on the first power play of the game. The game tied 1-1. 2.25 left in the period. Sackick let it roll over to Lemieux. Pass back to the line. San Luis take the shot. Pass it off. To go back because it's shot by Hinton and all the way down the ice. Canada regrouping with a new line. Richards dumping one in wide of the net as he takes his man in on the boards, but the puck goes to the Finns and they get it out again. Two minutes left in the period. In the penalty, 35 seconds. Solani in the box for hooking. Brad Richards stepping up to center ice, drills it in. And the referee. Walkham had to be quick to duck away from that hard shot. It's the Finns coming out. Three of them are going to go up to center ice. Now one fades back. And they get over the line with Litton and giving it up. Back out for Canada. Down they come led by Danny Heatley. He's over at the far side and going to the boards. And that line pass didn't work. Shot down the ice and the penalty is just about done. Not a shot on goal by Canada. Now it's over. Salani is back out. Backhanded in by Hannon. And it's called all the way back into the Canadian zone. And Greg, you've got to know that the Finnish team is far more pleased with a 1-1 finish at the end of the first period than Team Canada, the home team, especially when Canada got the first goal. Absolutely. They were thinking in their locker room, let's weather the storm the first 10 minutes, get through it. And then let's see how it is after one period. Now suddenly the confidence just keeps going up and up here for Team Finland. They saw this coming up to the right of Mark Tambroger with a minute 15 left in the first period. It's back to the line in for Solani, but he didn't see the puck come in there. He was watching Adam Foote, who was all over him. Now it's cleared out by Canada. A minute left in the first. That play is offside, a little slow moving at the finish blue line. Harry, in terms of matchups, we're still seeing Thornton against Koivu, and we're seeing a lot of the Mario Lomiu line because they seem to be hot so far in this first period. Would you go head to head like this in this game with Canada's depth, or would you just roll it over? Well, I think that you, uh, there's reasons to do both. I can see why they want Draper against Koivu, but they may get away from that. And, uh, not worry about as much about that matchup as the one that the Finns are trying to get. Solani nearly picked one off of the blue line. Now he does take it. And he turns with the pass that's intercepted. Thornton got it ahead. Doan rolled it in. Hoping Draper would get to it. He's in there at the same time as Timonen. Draper went down in the hit. 
Stopped at the blue line. Canada keeps it in. 30 seconds left in the period. And Team Canada for checking. A 1-1 tie. Shot to the line and by Niedermeyer and down the ice. Finland making just one last change. Only 15 seconds left in the period. Sackick is on the ice. Dumped it in on that tip in. And then Regeer stopped it. Fired it in around the net. Here's a chance. Again, Love was out front, but he was checked before he got a stick down. Cleared up on the boards. And Finland will bring it back out to center ice. And that should do it for the first period. The team is at full strength. Second period underway. Back to Scott Niedemeyer ahead to Dome. Shane Dome dumps it in wide of the net. Up there is Draper looking for it, but it'll be Finland trying to clear it. That back fired a little bit. Poked in by Doan again. He dropped it back, and Doan is behind the net. Trying to come out front. He is checked at the side of the goal, and that'll be cleared out. Down comes Yuri Lettinen. Fired the puck in as he hit the Canadian blue line, and Regeer was back to touch it up and leave it for Doan again, who came all the way back. Doan ripped it on the glass, down to center. They move up quickly. Nearly getting in was big Joe Thornton. He reached for that big, long reach of his and just missed escaping the finish check. Puck to center ice. They back in. Scrappy now of play. Close checking again. The Finns love to play that game. They're changing. Canada's fans trying to get them going. Lutu tried to center again. He backed it up into the corner. Taken away by Pultonen. Side of the net. Brewer checked his man. Puck loose. And Finland has it at the line. Dumped in. Hacky Bird. Behind the goal. Trying to center is Jokinen again. Well, they tie him up. However, Rutu did get it back. Up comes Berg. He couldn't get a shot at the net. And the Canadian players are finding the Finns tough to contain on their forechecking. It's center. That low shot just wide of the net. Rutu all alone right on the tape with the pass. And he missed the net. 1-1 one, one tie nearing two minutes of the second. Finland getting a good start. Canada got a great start in the first. But it's the Finns this time. Kapanen. Goes in. He kicked it loose. Had a stick tied up. The Finns are on it in the Canadian zone again. Around the net. Over comes Bollmeister. He checked his man. In there is Hentonen. He lost it. Backed up on the boards. San Luis is bumped around a bit by Hagman. And he fell. Hagman knocked the puck loose. Back out front, though, and it's cleared out by Richards. He was stopped in his tracks near center ice. Hagman nearly got it inside the blue line. Gagne, he's tied up just outside the finish line, and the checking continues to be close as we start the second. Nearing three minutes. Nine eight are the shots right now. So Finland with the only shot in the period so far, and we played 237. Well, the Finns are showing the Canadians that they like to forecheck when they can get two guys in early because they hem Canada in for a long stretch. Didn't end up getting much of a chance to score, but had the puck and recovered it two or three times. And if that's the case, Marty Verdure is going to have to be active, Harry, when handling the puck. And that was a big question in the first period, how he could do it with a bad wrist. So far, so good. Koivu won that face off in his own zone for Finland. Canada's Thornton line on again, of course, with Koivu on. Solani and Lettinen. Finns get the puck up to center. Coming down the left side as they make another quick change. And there's Hall. It's the only thing that Finland can do. Look out. It's in front again and on the short side. Brodeur had to be careful with a stick twice. Finland changing quickly, trying to get away from Thornton. Canada back in.
Marshoff just gets distracted on that play from Draper coming towards the net. A five-hole goal, a bad goal, a goal you cannot let in in a semi or in a final game. That is not a Kiprasov goal. No way. That's the 11th second period goal Canada scored in this tournament. They've only given up two. Scott Niedermeyer gets his first goal of the tournament. 2-1, Canada has taken the lead. And now we will assume that the Finns will open up a little bit. We'll get more flow to this game. Real tough checking to start this second period. Thornton and Draper earning assists on that goal by Niedermeyer. Solani is in there now and back the puck up, letting in at the side of the net. And it's fired away with a rebound coming off the pads of Brodeur. And right there was Saku Koivu. But he didn't have a chance to play it. Again, Mario takes the pass outside the finished blue line. It came off a leg and back out. Saki left it. Again, backed it off the boards again and got it in deep. And that line now will go off for Canada. Two on the score. Canada leading in this championship game. And here's Team Canada again getting the zone. San Luis had to hang on to the blue line, straddling it there, and he couldn't move on the puck when it did get in. Gagne bumped around a bit and lost it. Boomeister hustles back. He's gotten there in time, and that's an icing call against Finland. Well, neither team has given up many odd man rushes, and that was one, but that wasn't the kind of an odd man rush goal that you see. No, absolutely. A bad angle shot. You know, it's interesting, Harry. Kippersoff let a goal like this in in the preliminary rounds. It was a very similar angle, a very similar shot. And you have to wonder, perhaps, if Team Canada has gone to school a little bit. Where's the stick? Off the air, but Kippersoff is halfway. He's on his way down, perhaps guessing a little bit on that shot. Richards on with San Luis and Gagne. Finn's making one last change with a stick. That's okay. Canada wins the draw. Fed ahead by Hannon. And it goes high over the glass. They were having some good offensive zone success. And then Wemo, a bad goal. And can Kiprasov recover from that? Who knows better than anybody should have had it. Cavalier, puck right there in his skates. Now he moves on it to the board. So Cavalier picked it up, tried to go around to the corner and was stopped. It's fed in by Heatley a little deeper. Now batted back out. Finland can't clear it right away. Coming back quickly is Vandenen. He's caught by Vincent Le Cavalier. Canada looking a bit sharper now. The puck across in front of the Finnish goaltender. Kiprasov played back through center ice and Bullmeister was back. However, this is Vanden shooting it back in for Finland, nearing six minutes of the second. So it's moving along quickly. Canada with the only goal here in the second period. Udemar moments ago, his first. 2 1, Canada leads. Here they come. Up to center, Danny Heatley. Ripped it quickly with a wrist shot. That was on, and Kiprasov saw that. Not a problem. Out comes Brodeur to play it. Here was back. Got it up on the boards. It'll be stopped at the blue line. This shot is in wide of the net. Hard shot with traffic in front. Rutu trying to move it back out. Given a bump. Here comes Berg. He hit his man. And then he fell. Lidman headmans the puck to Yarko Rutu. He goes in along the boards and centered it. Two of them are in there. And it's stopped again by Brodeur. Cleared out. It's opened up a fair bit now here in the second. San Luis saw his man coming off the line. Gagne! That's stopped by Mika Kiprasov. Tipped away to the line this time. Another shot from long distance. That fired by Eric Brewer. Saw soft though, made the save with the stick. Canada forcing the play again. They're leading 2-1 to one here in the second. As we come up to the seven-minute mark, and Finland tries to get it back. Solani comes in off the left side this time. A swing at the puck. It goes to the boards in the corner. Timonen waits at the line. Here's Solani centering it, but no dice. Easily picked off and lifted away. And down the ice by Adam Foot. Really solid in front of Broder. Finland lining up. Five of them. First pass is stopped by Lemieux. Then he waits.
wasted a little time to move it in and lost it. As Koivu stole it, flipped it back. That's called back out. I think Kelly Rudy was right when he commented that that first period may have been the best period Lemieux played in this tournament, especially in the last couple of games. There's Mario again, backhanding the puck inside the line, but that'll be cleared easily. And he stole it. Shot it back in. Kiprasov had to leave the net. Back quickly is Sammy Sallow. Canada keeps it in. Another pass gets to the corner, and here's Sakak. Ripped it. Went for the short side. It hit a leg in front. Again, it backed it up for Lemieux, and he was covered. There to head by only Jokinen, and down come the pins. Led by Jokinen across the line. The high shot is way up over the net. Canada's again got out to center, and he was bumped right there by Rutu. Roder. And looks okay on that one. Playing the pass out. Wolves returns. Again, I had to stop. He was checked. Had to get rid of it. Lidman at his own blue line for Finland. Got it away to center. That's across the two lines. And that will be called back. The 1997 amateur draft, the first five picks are playing in this tournament, in this game. Thornton, Marlowe, Luongo, and Brewer for Canada, and Jokinen for Finland. So congratulations to the scouts who talked their managers into taking those guys one through five. We have seen a tremendous amount of talent the last couple of weeks in Europe, here in North America. For the World Cup 2004, this is it tonight. Canada leads in a moment by a goal. That man, Niedermeyer, who just made the pass, got the go-ahead goal. It's shot in on Kiprasov again. They're throwing everything now from outside the line. Here comes Richard's shot. White pad saved that time. Slapping at it was Hintonen. And again, they take their time coming out and center eyes Hagman. He threw it to the middle. Hintonen nearly got in, but he was bumped. Shot around the net by big Robin Regeer on the other side. Bins are in for checking once more, but it'll be Canada who'll come out with it. Backhanded away across the line by Regeer. Back in for Hagman. Got a shot away. That was a tricky shot that might have changed direction. Durr had to be careful to make the save, and he did that. There'll be a face-off as it goes high up the bench back in the Canadian zone. And quickly is Scott Hannon. He's played well and is rushing well now to center ice. Dumped in wide of the net. And there is Ryan Smith. He got it loose at center. And it'll get all the way back to the line. Bullmeister shot it in there again. The Cavalier bucked his man and poked it out front of the net. Finland hanging on, trying to clear it. It gets out all right. And away they go. All didn't get too far. He has scored the finished goal. Came in the first, tying the game at the time. 1-1, 6-34. Sakic had scored at 52 seconds. Little things that are so important in a game. Ryan Smith beats out on icing here, and here's how he does it. He'll race right in, watches, watch the puck all the time. Watch what he does to the stick here. Knocks the stick away first, then gets the puck. A nifty little move by Ryan Smith, and then LeCavier protects the puck so well because of his size and all good players tend to get their rear out and protect the puck because of it. Thornton again nearly got in there for a shot as he won the faceoff. Koivu gets it out. Down this near side. Lefton didn't catch up to the puck. And it's back into the finish zone. Here comes Dillon. He backed it up for Thornton who centered it in the blue ice all right. And then again Thornton after it with Dillon. They're working hard in around it at the other side is Draper. His checking line is doing well. Thornton now. He's dangerous right there. He's waiting. He comes out. The wraparound didn't work. Don't broke his stick. He has to gallop off for a new one. And Finland is allowed to come back in. Salani nearly got in there. It came out over the line and whipped back in by Lettinen. There's 3.30 in the morning in Finland. And two charters came over from Helsinki today. And Finland has caught fire for hockey. They have their own broadcasters here, sending this game back to Finland. Mario Lemieux got the puck in deep again and nearly picked it off on the boards, but here's Ole Jokinen stepping up. Lost it to Lemieux. Good play, and he got it back for Aginla. He couldn't get steady on the puck to get a shot away. Lemieux knew that was going to happen. Centered it again. Mario playing well once more, making dandy passes in there. Stopped at the line and kicked ahead. But Jokinen 
picks it up for Finland and skates out to center ice. He'll go down that far side and leave it for Duomo. In route two, in comes Pelton in to help, and again, it's Mario Lemieux coming out. A dandy pass once more to Aginla, but once more, he couldn't hang on to it. Now he's trying to get his stick down on it, but he was tied up and checked well, and the Finns get the puck to center ice. Bowmeister played it ahead. Mario dumped it in. He's gone off. They're changing, and Lemieux gets a hand as he steps to the Canadian bench. 8.45 left to play in the second. This is going to be an icing call. As Bowmeister, what a great skater he is, got back in a rush. Well, Team Canada have to be careful that they don't try and kill the rest of the game off with a one-goal lead. They don't have to gamble like perhaps the Finnish team does. But that next goal for Canada could really put the Finns in an awful spot. Brad Richards line on, winning the faceoff inside the line, the pass in front. San Luis ripped it, big rebound. That was a hard shot by San Luis. Coming very close to scoring there for Canada. Richards again winning that faceoff. Up through center ice. Not flying, play went right on. It'll be Tiemannen who clears it out for Finland. Gagne didn't look, he shot it back in. That's offside, Richards was trapped. Well, Martin San Louis, who's really had a tough time in the point department in the last two games, gets a good opportunity to make it 3-1, almost right off the faceoff. Look at how Harry he gets into the seam. He wins the draw and then moves away from the dot right into the high slot where there's an area where he can receive the puck. And that was a good chance. Adam Foot, a little soft pass ahead to Dome. He was body checked off the puck. But Thornton won't be stopped. He's in there again. Made a pass behind the net. Dolan is in front. Draper didn't see him right off the bat. Now he does, but it's too late and the play is stopped. And there's going to be a penalty call it's against, against Finland. No, nope. nope. against Canada. Interference in front of the net. Shane Doan knocked the defenseman down. And he will get two or less. All right. Doan goes. We look back there and point it right away, and it's trapped on. He got him quickly. In front of the net. Tripping. There it is right there. Finland 0 for 3 against the USA in the semifinal. And only 5 for 22 total. But this is their big chance now. Canada number 9, Shane Doan. Two minutes for tripping. Time to the so Finland get organized. Jokinen bumped off the puck at center. Rutu tried to carry in, but that'll be cleared back out. Only as far as center ice, where Finland regroups. Jokinen turns around twice. He has Rutu to his right. Crowd thought maybe a penalty was coming there to Finland. As again, it was upended. That's Rutu to pick it up. In behind that icing line and behind the net, the puck is loose, and Canada is going to come out with it. Decided to keep skating. Kill more time. Dump it in gently off the glass, and he heads off. Good penalty kill by Adam Foot. Seven minutes left in the period. Jokinen fires it in. And Rodur out there, he missed that behind the net. It stopped at the blue line and kept in by Timonen. Fired along the boards. Letnin trying to get a stick on it. Salani does by coming in and poking it loose. Salani takes a look out, backed it up along the boards and lost it there. And Canada has two going away. Gagne brings it in, gets in a high slot. The shot is off the stick of Salo and off the glass. Now it's played to Koibu. He got away near the line and up as far as center, and then was tied up, but poked it to the right wing and comes after it himself. He won't be put on that play. He goes down on the check. And it come back out over the line. Penalty has 20 seconds left. Changed by Solani. He nearly got hit with the puck going off. Smith brings it back up for Canada. Dumps it into the corner. Draper went in, knew the hit was coming, took it anyway, and Salo left the puck there. And they move it up smartly. Long pass by Kapanen was good down across the line. The shot. Spread eagle on that one was Boger in front again. Just missed on the short side. Canada hangs on and clears it out and down the ice. They're at full strength. They didn't get a shot on goal that time, so this is going to be icing. 5.40 left in the period. 
But the checking continues to be close. It started off that way in this period. Opened up a little bit for about five minutes. It's choked off again. Bird shoots the puck around in his own zone. And it's played off the boards. Popped out again. Boom. And away. One player was trapped inside the line. Now they're back on sides so and it goes. That's the routine. Roger out. Lips a little pass up high. On the boards was Hagman. He missed it. Canada gets it out. They're down across the line. Gagne had to wait for help by San Luis, and he got in away from one hit. And then gets the puck again and fires it behind the net to Richards. He's tied up. Richards hangs on, looking around, trying to beat Hagman. Down he goes. Played back out front. Richards left it for Gagne, who set it in, in front of the net. And that'll be cleared away off the boards. Kapanen gets it down to center ice. 442 left to play in the second. It's a close one. Richards gets it in and heads off with his line mates. 2 1, that's all. 430 remaining in the period. Cannon on the attack from the line. Laguerre shot. He broke his stick. It's behind the net. Went high. Bounced down in front of the goal. Kiprasov wasn't quite sure where it was. Finland get going down to center. Jokinen pokes the puck in on net and Roder nailed it away. But here's a chance for Peltonen. Goes the other way with it. Nobody saw it over there. Up comes Salo. Look it off. Trying the shot from this side. Bannon and kept it in. Canada now running around in their own zone. Jokinen just missed picking that one off. It stopped again at the line by Bannon. He put it in deep. Regeer is back. Chopped it the other way. Lemieux won't get up to it. It's fired in wide of the net. There goes Bannon and again to make sure it stays in deep. This is good pressure by Finland. Around the net, Temu Solani tried to come out and lost it. It's knocked away by Niedermeyer, and Solani gets a weak shot away. Hit Niedermeyer. He's going to just play it back out to center. He nearly hit Saki with it, but he didn't. He missed him, and it's shot back in by Bannon. That line for Finland is changing them up. Good work by them, though. They had the puck inside the Canadian line for quite some time. This is a icing call against Canada. Kapanen, Hagman, Hintonen for Finland. Winning the faceoff was Kapanen. He poked the puck at the net, but up high. No icing this time. It's waved off, and they all shot it out for Berg to get back in a hurry. Kicked at the line by Hannon. He didn't make good contact on that attempt, and back in for Kapanen. And here's a chance for Hagman. He couldn't get inside, but got the puck again, and now Canada will bring it out. Through the middle they go. Three of them are up, but Smith seems to be hurt and kind of goes off with a lift to the Canadian bench. Hagman for Finland. To center, high one. Dumped in high over Bomeister. That's really high, and that's also an icing call. Well, Ryan Smith got hit on the right cheek there. <laughs> off the boards for Foot, who takes the shot. Right on, rebound. Two steps. Don't have the second one. Gordon again working hard. First pass doesn't work, so he goes back to try it again. And does get the puck out. Joe Thornton fired it in. Doan around the net. Tried to go back up with it to Thornton and did. And Thornton goes around to the corner, plays it back, and Finland will pick it up and clear the puck up to the line. Hint, Lenton and Hint just waited and then fired it up, but Koibu didn't have a stick. He played it anyway with a skate well over the line. He has to go off. Doan back up. That's on the catching glove of Kiprasov. You missed it over there. Stays with it, though. Trying to hook it ahead. That's lifted away by Finland all the way down the ice. And hurrying back is Niedemar. You better watch it. Alaranta is right on him. But he heard him come and got the puck out. Up through center ice, Canada moving in. It's again Niedemar trying a shot on goal. That's stopped this time by Kiprasov. Our corner again. I couldn't move it. And it's fired away by Sal once more. Finland up to center ice. Paul threw it in, headed off, and they are changing. Only 1.15 left in the period. Canada has a one goal lead. Again, the checking gets rather close. No great rushes going on here. Rozu trying one. He might do it. He's in. He scores. To all was allowed to walk in there with one minute left. He beats Roder, and this game is tied.
Boy, this Rutu has been very impressive tonight. A physical player who really had a terrific second half last year. And this is a solo mission, as you can see. He steps by Richards, then steps by Gagne, then steps by Niedemeyer, and then puts it by Brodeur. So a one on three, four if you want to count the goalie. Not a smooth goal till now. And he ties the hockey game with exactly a minute to go on the best individual rush that I've seen in this tournament. Gagne and Niedermeyer go fishing for the puck instead of taking the body, but a great play by Rutu on the glove side of Martin Brodeur. To Omo Rutu, number 15 for Finland. Goodman will get one assist. The 19-minute mark, the game is tied. Canada better be careful. Finland is attacking again. Taiwan goes down the ice. That's Rutu's first goal of the tournament. What a goal it is. Ben's try to get something else going before the period is done. They have 30 seconds left on the clock. And they're in their own zone. 2-2 two, two the score. Saku Koivu. First pass. And here's the second for Tiemann. Dumped on the boards across center ice in and over the Canadian line. Brewer will wait back there. Nobody open. Now he finds his man, Gagne, and he fires it in. At the line, it's offside with nine seconds remaining. Now the big question is, is Marty Berdur Marty Berdur right now? He's used to making those saves at big times of the game, albeit Route 2 with a great shot and a perfect scoring position. And by the way, Canada was on a bad change there, but it really didn't matter anyway. They were changing coming into the zone, but as you mentioned, Harry, it was still a one-on-three. Three or four mistakes. Ends up in the net. Three seconds to go. After 40 minutes, nothing has been solved with these two finalists. They've just dropped the puck to start the third period. And the game tied 2-2. Two, two. Finland starting up from the left. Dumped in along the boards for Solani, who's coming in after it hard. Solani bumps his man, who goes down, and Canada turns it back up. Three of them, led by Joe Thornton over the line. He's had a strong game so far. Thornton has. It's fired in off the boards to the corner. And Foot was pinching in and make it deep for Thornton. Up front, don't scores. Wow, Thornton, what did I say? What a play by Joe Thornton. and two shots and this line has been on the ice for two goals including this one Thornton to Doan so the checking line is a goal and three assists the line they're checking has nothing puck in along the boards and shot high over the crossbar and Finland coming back center ice. Nice play. Goes in there for Sackick again. Sackick can't get a shot away. Levy was up there with him. It was he who had passed it in to Sackick. But he got checked immediately. Fins back. And Broder out to cut the angle on a good attempt by Tuomo Rutu again. Kevin Newman had got caught on this play. Not in front of the net. The rule of thumb is you better have a defenseman in front of the net. And there's a battle up on the half boards. And there's Newman up at the top of your screen. He's trying to take the position of the winger instead of getting parked in front of the net. He's far too late, and Doan is left wide open for a gift. So Canada has taken the lead again, 3-2 this time. With Gagne in, and here's Brad Richards. Bumps his man. Gagne centered it. That was a close call. Kipperson not sure where the puck is. Now he does know where it is, and he has it smothered, but that was another close call by this Canadian line of Richards and uh, San Luis and Gagne. So this line has not been able to put many pucks in lately, but they nearly score here. Gagne gets it out in front. Now you can see Kiprasov made the save, but he didn't know where the puck was. They saw off one by Canada, then they cough it up to Finland. The crowd on the boards again. Bo is going to shoot it. That's on to the blocker. Kippers on to the corner. Richards comes up with it. Centers it. Again, a close. Gagne hit the side of the net. Again, good 
pressure by this trio. Richards, Gagne, and San Luis. Bo Meester had to reach and had to back off. Hinton and got going. And he made the play back in front. The shot by Kapanen was wide of the net. Canada nearly got to break the other way with San Luis just missing the puck. Coming near center ice. Two minutes gone in the third. Canadians pick it off. San Luis shot that in and took off to the bench. On the ice again for Ryan Smith on the forecheck. Up with him with Cavalier. Ryan Smith chases his man. But they get it out and down the ice. No icing. Eric Brewer picks it up and shoots it around his own goal. It's not out. Kept in. Hall had one chance. Failed to get a shot. Dumped deep and Brewer back. Puck gets loose off the boards. Nice play by the finished winger, Lutu. Got it off the boards and then in deep again. Shot in there. Erko Rutu with him. And on the ice is Ellerad. He tried to knock it loose. I think he broke his stick. He stays there. They call the play. Ryan Smith was down and wanted the faceoff. He needed a line change. He wasn't going anywhere with it. Ellerad broke his stick trying to pull the puck out. Canada has done a nice job on faceoffs in their own end for the most part, so it's never a bad play, especially when you're tired. Like Smith. Solani trying to get loose, grab from behind. The play is allowed to continue. They get the puck to the line and out. Nearly a two on one. Dolan is up again with Draper this time on the other side. It was Thorpe, but the pass was behind him. Picked off at center ice, and Canada moves up again. Quickly, Regeer got it ahead to Thornton coming in. Thornton didn't get the pass through the crowd in front. Here, stopped in Thornton. Got a shot on goal. I'll tell you that Kiprasov looked a little shaky on that. And Salo gets his big toe on the puck. Well, that would have been a scoring chance for Team Canada, but they still get one and another turnover by Finland. Puck just did get by Jay Bowmeister. He skated there and hit him. I think defenseman Rutu not that big, but he can fly. And here's Saki, who also moves it perfectly. Got it in for Lemieux, who shot it deep, and Saki anticipating the move, got in there first. Saki gets the puck loose. Out front is again the Saki, it's backhander, stop! And it's whipped away, and Bowmeister was in too far, pinching in, and the puck went by him. Duomo Rutu brings it back up, over the line for Jokinen. This shot, not much on that at all, and he gets another chance on it. He left it there on the boards, trying to get it away from Mario Lemieux. It's in behind the Canadian net, and Scott Hannon waits back there. He's starting to move up with it. Hannon coming straight to the line. Hitting the puck well. You didn't see the pass, however. And Hinton brings it back in over the line, and the play is whistled dead. It's a hand pass, and they'll call that back. Finland doesn't get it back for quite a little while. And there's the backhand that Simon Kiprasov. Richards line on again for Canada. Kapanen didn't get it out. Stopped at the blue line. Brewer shot easily blocked. And Brewer has to wait now for the center ice area. Did do that and flipped it ahead. Gagne will move up along the boards against Lidman, but the play again is called back up. There have only been two penalties called in the game. One to either team. And not a shot recorded on the two power play. Right to the net. Blocker save. Kiprasov. Finns get it down to center ice. That's all. Mutu couldn't move very far. He's on the boards. Jammed there. Regeer stepped up from the blue line. He got it again, though. Rutu and lost it. Fed into the zone, and Dan Heatley is coming in hard. Heatley bumped two men in there. Smith a chance to play it, but Finland will bring it away. Lifted out by Rutu, and he was hit on the boards by Le Cavalier, who takes the pass. Ahead, it goes to Smith. Takes the shot, nowhere near the net with that one, and Poivu will bring it away for Finland. The captain put it up the center. That pass didn't work. Two teams are making changes. Five and a half minutes gone in the third. Canada leads by a goal. Biggest spread in the game. One goal, that's all. Finland kept coming back as Canada scored. Can they come back again? Well, two of them are up there at center. Sanani found his man coming in off the wing. Turning in front of the net was... Well, he didn't 
see it at all. They checked him and got the puck back out. Checking is getting a little close now, but Finland can't afford to keep that little tech going. They're down a goal. Time rolls on here in the third period in this championship game. They're capable of exploding. It's a quick team. And out they come. Newman comes to center and dumped it in, but that time Jokinen was too fast in there. And he's offside on that three man rush. Lidman moves up with a quick pass. Off a skate, it's out. Lidman poked it ahead again. They do get back on side, but Canada's Brewer starts up and moves to the line. Backhands it on the boards to center. Lemieux was covered very well. They're going to watch him. Sackick is with him, of course. And again, is on the other side. Lemieux gives it to Sackick. Then we get off. A little bit too long for him. Goes in to pick it up, though. Gets in around the net. Two defenders on him, and Finland will come up with it. Around the goal is Jokinen. Goes to the corner. Fired by Berg, and it gets out to center ice. Finland trying to catch up. It was a one-man rush with Rutu going in. Centering pass. Rutu tried to hit his man behind the net and missed him. And he got a number taken, I believe, as Mario checked him out. At center ice. Big Brewer is hammered. Tuomo Rutu is hitting everything that's moving in the red shirt. Fired to the corner. Sell ahead. Gagne stopped that but couldn't do much with it. Now he has to wait. Did he wait long enough? No, he did not. Offside. But the Draper line, Draper, Thornton, and Dome, boy, what a job they've done since they've been given the checking assignments. And they have four points as well as keeping the Koibu line right off the board. Up comes as far as center. Lettinen just watched it go by him. In comes Hintonen to take it around the net. Pass back out. Yuri Lettinen trying to move it in again. And Canada takes over in the zone. They don't get it too far. It's still in deep. Up comes Hintonen once again. He leaves it. Kapanen out for Hintonen. No shot. He's knocked down. Gets back up. Rolled it around the net. San Luis will have to hurry over there. He, hates. he likes the peak team and then he doesn't get there in time. Finland on it. and all and he hangs on well he knew his team needed a rest they got back in their own end and couldn't control the fins on the fourth check but when he got a chance to freeze the puck on an easy shot not that one he did but a big save there on left it in the slot and that's the marty Verdeur i know big saves at big times in a hockey game this is a big time in this big hockey game you're right there's another one Scooping at it. There's Draper, and he got it out in a hurry. Here he takes the puck now. Steams in over the line. Draper, full head of steam, coming in around the net. Coming out, leaves it. Play back in for Thornton around the goal. Doan is over there. He's got the go-ahead goal for Canada here in the third. There's Thornton. That skipped over his stick, took a hop behind the net, and he missed it. Salani backed up. Bumped by Doan. Here comes Thornton. He nailed his man. Finland will move it up. And the captain, Koivu, played it through to Solani, and he joins the rush with him. Solani goes to the net. Koivu lost the puck. Solani stays in. Now they're headed off, I think, and Canada regrouping deep in their own zone. Up for Robin Regeer. Quick pass. Gets to Lemieux. He sets it up there. A give off. Rebound. Played off Kimbersov, and a big rebound it was. Good set up again. But back in for El Aranta. He's cutting inside. And that is stopped. That was Jokinen who made that rush. And up comes Newmanen. Lemieux again somehow spotted the move. And look at it. He saw Iginla taking off with Sackick. And he comes up to join the rush. Lemieux's foot, rather, the backhander going in. Lemieux had gone to the bench. They didn't get that far. And they're all changing now. Lemieux the first to go. Sackick now. And here goes Iginla. Rushes by them as we come up to the halfway mark of the third. Newman plays at rink one. Finland trying to get the tying goal. Lettinen comes up on the play. Around the net. Hintonen. Big collision back there, and Bullmeister takes it. Gets the puck out. His defense partner took everybody out of the play. And again, Roger is going to hang on to this for fear of a rebound with uh, Hintonen coming right at him from the other side. 
Lynch and the face off in the Canadian zone. Dolan gets it out. Draper didn't see the pass. Went in behind him. Newman plays it up for Finland. Salani was right there at the Canadian blue line. Back down the ice. Boy, who backed it up. Now it's gloved down by Draper and he shoots it in. He takes off to win, but he won't get near the puck. Koivu shot it away. It's batted to center ice and foot stops it again. 3-2, Canada leads. 9-25 left to play in the third. Canadians give it away to Newman and his defense partner. However, that's dumped down the ice from the, the other side of the center ice, and that's an icing call. And you wonder how the nerves are taking it all. There's the executive people, Wayne, along with Kevin Law, Steve Tambellini. That's who Finland should dress with eight minutes to go. He might pop one in for you. Saki can win the faceoff. There goes Bannon, laid it ahead for Finland. He got it out. That's all. Canada regrouping. Here, reach for it. Mario knocked it in. Ginla trying to catch out Bannon and jumps in there ahead of him. And the puck is stopped at the line and the pins come out. They're trading by a goal. Now it's lifted in deep again by Oli Jokinen. And there, Kaltanen stopped behind the net. Finland moving up, and Mario once again playing a strong defensive role. Stole the puck, and it's shot in on the blocker of Kiprasov, and the Lemieux went off. Finland back. On the offside, Gagne did not see San Luis trapped on the big circle. Well, we witnessed Mario's soft hands and a beautiful pass to a Ginlan moments ago. I talked to him this morning. He said the one thing he's had trouble catching up with, with is in tight plays. He said it was coming. Well, here's a good example of a nice tight play where he picks the pocket of his opposition and finds, guess who? A Ginlan once again storming up the middle of the ice. Sees everything. No doubt about that. He used to say that about Wayne. To see the entire ice. Great players. Bobby Orr. Mario, of course, doesn't change. They can see out of their ears. Yep. Yep. It's amazing. Canada three, Finland two. Finland starts up. San Luis missed intercepting that pass. Coming in was Rutu, Yarko Rutu. It's tied up, couldn't get loose for it. Centering it was Hall, and didn't work either. Rutu behind the net. Bovister poked at it. Rutu gets it again. Brings it back out. That stop this time by San Luis, and he got it up to center ice. Can't move on it, though. Rutu played it back for Timonen, and he just shot it into the Canadian zone. Out was Broder to make the pass up. Smith wasn't quite ready for that, and just dumped it over the line. Kapanen turns around in his own zone and played the puck ahead. That's down to the far side for Hinton and coming in. Stopped outside the Canadian line as they move up again. Heatley gets the puck across center and shoots it in for the Cavalier who took the hit. Heatley keeps coming. Can't reach it. And Solani was tied up, but that's okay. Cleared back out by Kavanen and down the ice. Adam Foot back there again. Always steady. Got it up to Heatley. Heatley tried to shoot it in and did. And they're turning to the bench. 7.05 left in the third. It's a one-goal game. 3-2, Canada. Crowd anxious for another score. By the Canadians, of course, the sellout crowd. You can hear them roaring, let's go, Canada. Well, Eloranta trying to do something about it now for Finland. And he finds a hard hit from Laguerre, and he's down, and he's hurt. He's still down, getting back to his knees. Finland can't get the stick near a puck, and it's back out. Miko Eloranta Sol getting to the bench too. 6.25 left. Tension mounting. World Cup on the line tonight. Finland. Surprise finalist by many people. But they deserve to be here. Kiprasov had two shutouts early. Here of the U.S. Moving out 
to center a cell. Nice pass to get him going. 552 to go. Suman has done a pretty good job with this group, Harry. Not easy to coach the players of these caliber. They're all stars for their team. And uh, some of them have a tough time getting a lesser assignment in this tournament than they would in the Stanley Cup playoffs or the season. McGear steps up and gives the pass to Joe Sackett. In deep on the other side, they move in after it. Lemieux comes in to help. They don't get the puck back to him. He was all wide open by himself back there, but again, I didn't know it. Now Lemieux, back for Lemieux, turning up the line. Again, is in deep. Here comes Sackick to steal it. The other way. Again, was tied up and couldn't move on it. It'll be played out by Rutu. Finland clearing the zone. 5 10 left. One goal game. Tuomo Rutu, who scored in the second period. With one minute left to tie the game at that point at 2 2. Doan scored at 34 seconds, starting this third. That's the story to now. Will it hold up? Brodeur out of the net. Fires it away himself. It gets to the line, and Lidman knew that and moved up on it. He couldn't keep it in, though. Open ice, a race for it. It's got to be Doan. Boy, he's striding hard, but he lost it on that poke check, and Koivu dropped it back. That won't work as Adam Foot is in front of Koivu. And now Eric Brewer. Under five minutes left. Draper tossed the puck ahead. It's Thornton who pokes it further down the ice. Tiemann brings it back up for Finland. Getting through center, he weaves his way nicely and dumps it in, and Broder will play the puck a lot now. He gets it up on the boards. San Luis lost it back there. Finland fired it right at the net, and Broder was back on the pipe on that side, and he makes the save with 4.07 remaining. Well, Shane Doan put Canada in front for the third time in this game with a goal at the 34-second mark of the third period. And Canada got three goals early in periods. Doan that one, Sackick at 52 seconds of the first, and Niedemeyer at 3.15 of the second. Face off, crowd after the puck, Finland gets it. Long shot right on by Kimo Tiemann, and he blasted that one from just inside the blue line. It was right on. Broder saw it and made the save. Well, when you let the goalie see the shot as far away as this one was taken, even though Canada lost a scrambled draw, you're not going to score on Broder from there very often. Riku Hall, who has a goal in this game, the first one, the opening period for Finland. Got the goal to tie it when Sakic opened the scoring for Canada. Bolmeister shoots it around the net. Lemieux backs up in his own zone deep. Now everybody aware of what might happen in there, and they're all back. So out to center, Tiemann. Flipped it up on the boards to the right. That'll get in, and Bolmeister seeing a lot of ice time now. This young man starts away. Look at him go. He's a dandy. Jay Bolmeister is a good one. Comes in with the brakes on in the corner and couldn't make the play off Lidman. But it's in. Centering pass didn't work at the blue line. Hooked in deep by Scott Niedemeyer around the net. It goes, and they're changing now. Canada is. Finland coming up with 3.23 remaining in the third period. Finland on it was Hagman. Took a little bump going after the puck. Four players on the boards. And it is still inside the line. And now Canada will bring it out. Little pass gets up there. For Richards, drops it back in front. Here's Gagne! Rebound! That's knocked down by Kiprasov twice. Canada coming close to icing the cake. Under three minutes left to play in the third period. For the World Cup of Hockey, Canada attacking. Another quick pass. Now Richards shot. That stopped. Another rebound given up by Kiprasov, but nobody could move on it. Finland trying to get that long pass working now. They're good at that. Gagne stopped that one and sends it in deep with 2.40 left in the third period. Finland back to pick it up. 3-2 Canada. Pass comes off the boards and Canadians are watching every move now by the white-shirted Finns. Shot in deep and Lidman is back to start it off for Finland. That pass to Temu Solani and he's dancing through center. He fan on it. The shoot in. And who's with him? Shane Doan. That's who. And he just played it ahead. What a game he's playing for Canada tonight. He's got the go-ahead goal as it stands now. 34 seconds in this third period. 
Canada changing quickly. And Teemu Solani firing the puck up the center ice. Finland being checked into the ice now by these Canadian players. Two minutes left. Around the net as Adam Foot plays it on this side for Lemieux. Lemieux waits, takes a look, goes to the glass. That won't get out. They've tried to get it out. Lemieux decides the best thing to poke it back, and he did to Brewer. Brewer takes it, ripped it on the glass. Ahead, Aginla, all tied up. Aginla again shoots it to center ice, 140 left. Kiprasov not moving yet. It's shutting on the net, and Broder stops that. Cleared on the boards, but not out. The new dog tired went off of that last shift and looked back, and he's back on again. Broder watching that one go to the right. They're going to call a timeout now, and it's done by Finland. in the period are 12-9 Canada. Seems like more than that. It does. Canada's done an excellent job in this period just sending one man in, plugging up the neutral zone. I can only count one very good chance by Finland in this period. It was Yari Lettinen in the slot and Berdura made an excellent save. Other than that, Bob, they played a letter-perfect defensive period. 1.29 left to carry on with it. All right, gentlemen, when is the time? That Kiprasov will be called. He's 20 feet out of the net now in front of the blue ice. 129 left on the clock. The face-off is coming inside the Team Canada blue line. If they should win the face-off and get the puck deeper, likely you'll see Mika Kiprasov get to the bench. It's always good to see who the coaches trust on situations like this, especially if the team with the one goal lead. Canada three, Finland two. Not fairly. They tell me today in Helsinki, everybody was calling in and telling their employers they'll be sick tomorrow. <laughs> We're up all night watching this game. While well, they're seeing a dandy. And now here we go. Face off one by Canada. Can they move it out? Yes. Regeer dumps it out. Kick us off, backs up. Canada gets in there. A good work by Joe Sackick, but he fell. Can he hang on to it? He's doing a pretty good job on Timonen. Now it's grabbed by the Jokinen and fired away. Finns are on the move. There goes the goaltender, Kiprasov. They'll get the extra man on now as the puck is shot in deep. And they're all in there looking for it. But Canada has it on the boards. Not out. Shot by Sello. That's knocked down. Sello steps up again. We are in the final minute of this game. Canada leads by a score of 3-2. 52 seconds left for the World Cup. Down around the net again. A center right in front of the goal. And that's a nice play by Aginla. Empty net down there for Aginla. He'll go high with it. Gently though so that there'll be no icing. 40 seconds remaining. Canada changing. Finland changing. Jokinen brings it up and he gets the center and lost it. Empty net. A good play by Joe Thornton again to get it in deep. 28 seconds left in this one. World Cup on the line. Canada. Can they hang on? Six attackers on for Finland, and the crowd roaring here in Toronto. 18 seconds away from winning this baby. It's shot away to center ice, and Finland is on it to dump it in. The dangerous Teemo Solani is coming, but there's Brodeur out of the net. Eight seconds remaining. Can they do it? They're fighting hard in there, this Finnish team. Three seconds, Canada. 